To remove the back carpet, there are these uh, these little like push pop marker things. You can just pull up on them. Be gentle though, but all you have to do is apply some force and pull up on them and they should come out. There's a few of them on here. Um, it should be no more than maybe 13, 14 of uh, these things you can push up on or pull up on and they can come out. After you get that off, you can have full access to the back seat and all the bolts that hold it into the chassis. Now that I got the carpet out, these push pins look like this. There's, there's 13 of them. They look like this, so they're easily to be pulled out and put back in. Once you get to the top part, oh uh, hey Bumblebee, once you get to the upper portion of the head uh, headrest in the back of the seat, there will be this little flap that is inserted under the metal portion, that brown part. All you have to do once you get these push pins out, slide up and the carpet should all come out as one piece like this. On the back of the hatch, there is two, four, six, six bolts that connect it to the side of the chassis. This one right here just connects it to the other seat, but it also connects it to this middle bar that also holds it to the chassis knowing me and every other normal human being on this planet i don't have a 10 millimeter bolt so i will use my 13 32s 13 13 30 30 i'm gonna use this one because it fits just like a 10 millimeter i'm gonna get these bolts out and then that should be able to free most of the seat which will just leave me with the two uh, seat belts back here to undo, which should be pretty easy to do. At least I think. So now that I have these six bolts that hold these silver metal brackets in out, I have them right here for a labeling later. Once I get those uh, bolts out, you can flip this down and flip the other one down as well as that one. And then the top portion of the seat where you put your back against, it can literally just pull out. Oh boy, that's heavy. This is probably like 15 pounds. And it's probably also 15 pounds lighter now, so you know what that means. Two extra horsepowers. It is about <clears throat> the same size. So if you have a 10 millimeter or a 13 32s, you can use that as well to get it off. All right, now that that's off, uh, you want to slide the seat to the left a little bit because there's a... Uh, a metal bar that goes through the hole in the bar itself to hold it in place. So you want to push it over. <coughs> ah, this pollen's killing me. But once it clears that opening in the bar, you can just pull up. Ah. Here is the back seat that I pulled out, and I'm going to tell you how to do it. Take my slides off. I'm going to go ahead and hop in here. So, to get it out, once you do everything else to get it unloosed from back here, which is getting this out, there is going to be two tabs where you literally pull on the front end of the seat up here. So, there it is right there. Here's one of them. And on the other side, there's another. So, when you get in the back seat, you're going to literally pull up right here. And it's going to give some resistance, but you still want to pull enough to where it will pop out. It'll, Like I said, it will give you resistance, but just keep pulling and it'll hear a pop. And then the same thing will happen on the other side where you'll just keep pulling up. There's a close-up of it. You'll pull up until you hear a pop. And then once they both come up, you feel resistance in the middle of the seat. That is because there is a 
L-shaped metal bar that will slide under here. So once you pop the two off on the sides of the seat, you're just literally going to pull the seat back and then it should slide up and out. And that's how you get that done. So that's literally it. Once you unscrew everything you have to unscrew, all you have to do is pull up on the right, left side or on the right side, either or. And then once they pop up, slide it out and you got the back seat out. Here's this hook I was talking about, this metal L. This is what it looks like. So you're gonna pull up, like I said on the seats, here's the one on the left side. And then here's the one on the right side. You're just gonna pull up until you hear a pop. It literally just pops into place. Once those two sides are loose, you will pull back on the seat and this little metal L bar literally just holds it into the rest of the chassis and that's it. To remove the three, wait, four, math was never good to me. Four lower seat belts, yes, there are four. The uppers are the actual seat belts that go into the buckles, but there are four buckles that are attached to the rear chassis of the EK. One, two, three, four. To get these loose, they are a 14 millimeter socket. My camera would focus on it. You can hear me. 14 millimeters. So 14 millimeter. Unscrew them, and that's pretty much it to get the seatbelt buckles out. 